So, we have the head robot drone upgrade kit on Tomahawk now, and you've now mystically become well. Yes, so this kit is fairly easy to install, it's fairly straightforward. Unfortunately, there is a bit of frustration, and that is because, well, let's just point it out that. The instructions, if I hold them up right, the instructions actually highlight some problems that you would expect to order to be addressed. For instance, let's let let's do the cons first. The head. The key feature of any upgrade kit, the key feature of any character, it gives personality, it gives individuality to a character, it changes the aesthetic. Yes, it's done that, however. We are addressed with an instant problem that it addresses, and let's see if I can just pinpoint this in. If the if you can read that, it says, "Pull off stock head. Drone head may be a little loose. Wow, really? Tighten with nail polish or dab of glue. Yeah, thanks for that. Now these are things that should already be, you know, measured up." Quality control, come on guys, I know you're a third party company, there's no need to like basically take us from the rear or something, is there? The head itself looks really lovely, a, a really nice imitation of whale. Now yeah, we don't get any light pipe and we get a blotch of red in the middle for his red eye. Some nice little earmuffs that he's got on either side that are a different style, a different colour plastic. Yeah, nice, but unfortunately the more you rotate this thing side to side, the hair comes off. That's not good. That is not good at all. You can't move them up and down, it has no up and down motion. The only up and down motion is because the actual ball joint it's on and allows it to look up, look down, and you'll be lucky if it stays on for a couple of uh, rotations from side to side. Not good. Not not a, a, a great start because instantly the play value, even though I don't plan on playing with Sky, is lost. The head, yeah, not good. Let's see. As you can see at the back, he's got some nice little. These are his skis. Now these the the, the skis seem to be at the focus as well at what many people are not happy with. And yeah, I've heard a couple of stories so far. Now the skis can suddenly go, can go on his wings, and because his wings are folded back, unlike Tomahawk, which are the over his head, they. They, they, they fit quite nice, they, you know, you've got a nice solid sort of um, little, oh, what do you call it? Oh, why am I stumped for words? No! <laughs> um, little joint, little nib into the hole, yes. And these fit really nicely, there's no problem with that. And it does get sort of wide and his sort of gives him a bit more build on his character, if you will. And he looks kind of great, actually, from from the way the skis on. Now let's shoot straight to his feet. Yes, his feet are really good. They're really strong, um, jointed. They, they don't give any side to side angle. The upgrade kit, which is a shame. It lowers his sort of. You can pose him really good with these feet. Now he does have some kind, sometimes some problems, but thanks to sort of like the insect jointed tomahawk figure itself, you do you do get some really nice poses and he will stay there but he is a bit unsteady on his feet hey and yeah it, sometimes it looks uncomfortable now the skis can't obviously detach in the skis now the packaging itself will show you this guy with the skis on yep yeah. and will himself from the original generation one comics and such and such had skis on them now personally you know transforming this guy from helicopter mode to robot mode why they could have just simply molded these onto the feet instead we get this really useful you get these two little holes and these really shallow nibs now these at all don't really you have to play around with them and click now i'm there you go, it's just bounced off. Now again, they don't take any kind of little mark, pressure, or anything of the sort to come off. It's a pain in the ass. You'll forever juggle around with them. If you transport, manhandle this guy, he is, they, they are coming off, whether you like it or not. They will just 
decide no I don't want to be there so yeah if I can just get these on now let's see now he looks great even with the skis on let's see there we go no little clip though now he looks great with his skis on He does, he looks really good. Now unfortunately I, I feel the posability with the skis on is reduced. Uh, for the reason is because of the because of the little nibs that just pop off, it 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 the, the it's lost. Something's lost about it and because you you can't really have them in step mode because it just doesn't balance the character or look it just buzz me off. It it it's a nice touch but really not like I said they could have molded Little skis onto the feet, I think. I think that would have been aesthetically pleasing. And the transformation isn't all that different. They could have just, because of this this joint here, when you put it into, in, in, into actual mode, you know, they could have done that instead of the, the, the feet folded back. There's not really a dramatic difference when it comes to it. And there you go again. Nice little other touch is the back of this knee thing. It's like a little miss, missile pod. Now, I, I like little touches like this. I think you know, just to bump them out and give him a bit more mass on his on his calf muscles. Yeah, great stuff. Now it's not all bad, obviously. And obviously, I'm high. Trying to be as positive as possible. Oh, and we have just had. There you go. Another problem, which well, was unexpected. Yes, another little problem. His little ear. Hey, this could be a first. His little ear has just popped off while I've just been moving them. That is not a good sign, guys. This guy thing falls to bits, let alone without taking it to bits. Oh, you mother trucker. Right, we'll get back to that. We have a problem. <laughs> we have a one as well. Now his little grey bud has just come off while I've just been doing this review, so I thought I'd just leave that off. And I can't get it on, so it needs gluing back on. Not good. So anyway, like I was saying, it's not all pros and cons. The guns are quintessentially the nicest part of the set. If anything, these are, they, they, they could have just released a whale gun set and it would have made me happy-ish. Now the Gatlin gun, uh, the Gatlin gun and both um, whatever this is, shotgun or whatever, are coated in this lovely chrome um, sort of charcoal black. It really it reminds me of the old Beast Wars figures, the uh, Transmetals that you get, that really sort of highlights around the edges when the paint start or the light effect that it gets and you do really get a nice picture quality if you're taking photos of this guy and see it's streaming that's lovely and they fit really well the only problem is you because of the, the bulkiness of the paint around here you do start getting paint rub which is not uh, again not a good thing but it's because this will remain stationary anyway they do look really good and he, he unfortunately this one can only fit in his hands but the really cool poles if you've got the skis on which i think is the coolest look is actually keeping the uh the original sort of tomahawk pose with his missiles in and keeping them in it and i do i, I think this is the coolest look and I, you know why not change well he is a you know a quiet, the quiet type, but when he gets uh, going into war, he's psycho. So that's a really cool pose, uh, no, really cool look for it. And I really like it, even with his skis on, he just looks like he's just arm to teeth. Plus, you've got his little, little tomahawk claw. So we're gonna try this guy in helicopter mode, but you wanna know my thoughts so far? Stick to tomahawk. Tomahawk, the. the, the I just feel so far, I only took Tomahawk out the box when I ordered this upgrade kit um, and I was quite surprised with Tomahawk figure actually considering that he has a bay form, uh, the bay form is aesthetic, it really works and sort of melds the G1 with bay, fo bay formers and I, re I really liked them. Now swapping them over to this, I'm not too sure whether he, uh, Tomahawk may make another appearance. Um, yeah, so let's try this guy in helicopter mode. Now transformation is I just think there's not no not nothing different about the transformation apart from the head will sometimes come off when you 
transforming it. Now it is a bit of a bummer that this thing, you have to deconstruct all the pieces you've just added to it in robot mode to take off again. About 80% of the stuff, including the skis, the guns if you will, and the little sort of missile pods on those knees. All that has to come off. And quite frankly, it's a pain in the ass. Why create something, an upgrade kit, if it fundamentally can't go with what a transformer is, and that is the transform? It doesn't make sense in my in my logic, and I'm sure in a lot of people's logic, it doesn't make sense. Helicopter mode. It doesn't really look any much greatly improved now. Like I said, in robot mode. The guns stick out, it really does. The, the guns do this upgrade kit justice. It look, it, you know, gives the, the more pleasing aesthetic of whale. And generally, it does make it look nice. The, the nice little sheen you get off these guys is really good. Now, the skis are ever more worse in robot mode. If it was the good pull a wheelie, there you go. Okay, solved. This little tab that attach attaches the skis is worse than what they are on the feet. You only have to, like I said, you can just tilt it slightly and they're off. They're really, really unstable. Not a great attachment. Really not a great attachment. Now, just with the skis as well, we do notice some of the manufacturing scar marks, which is not good. Now, people have said stress marks so far, but I haven't encountered any on these or any of the other little pieces. Now, the little pods that went on your knees, or so the back of your knees, these little things, these attach to the back in like the little vent, if you will really don't see the point in them don't, you know it's not really a dramatic difference in any way the feet tuck in nice and make it look more black but i don't know guys this is not looking a really great upgrade kit at all i'm not at all pleased with it now i like whale i like the character of whale i like the personality of whale and i don't think this is really captures who the character is okay it's given a, a black color but we all started to get sort of mistoned within the black and blue sort of colour scheme anyway. The head is particularly great, but I would have liked to see the light piping and also with head robots also already addressing the problem on the back of the instructions. It's not good guys, you know, in all honesty, I would say stick with Tomahawk. Tomahawk to me it was a great, is a great looking character and it's got a lot if you know the likes of IDW wanted to build on the character. I think it's, it's got potential and I think wait for a whale figure to come out in the future hopefully fingers crossed because he is part of the Wreckers and the Wreckers are now you know really getting popular and you know we've just seen the mech deal uh, releasing Twin Twist and Top Spin, so they'll be next getting reviewed. But, I don't know. I don't know. Make your own judgment over this thing. It, 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 it's best just as a static shelf warmer, because to move it in robot mode or, or helicopter mode upsets the balance. And like I said before, it devalues this figure for me. I like to take something out the box and if I'm going to add an upgrade kit, I want it to add value rather than devalue it. And to me, Tomahawk, well, you know, I, I just find Tomahawk is better, is better. So, this is Head Robots Drone, it's the upgrade kit for to transfer Tomahawk essentially into Whale. And I'm Antonius Prime, let me know what you think of this kit, and thank you for watching.